on Martin's trends, we get to focus on the issue that has been on the rise in the past 24 hours, and that is the conversation about Madhe Wangara. For the past one week, the famous Madhe Wangara has been trending because of her drug business. The rising news related to Madhe Wangara led to the investigation of how much of an impact she has on the country and its citizens. Thanks to her, we got to know how many people are addicted to taking drugs and how it has affected their lifestyles in one way or the other. A research done by Cambridge and two universities has certified that 50% of university students abuse drugs and they started using it as soon as they joined campus. With the adverse pressure from their peers and the availability of these drugs, it would only be evident that they'd abuse it. However, what termed as some first-time first -time encounter would later turn into an addiction. It was during the research that the findings of the commonly abused drugs was reported. They include weed, rofino, widely known as mchele, and alcohol. With the abuse of these drugs being on the rise, Many of the dropouts from the universities have been encountered while others fail to even graduate after deciding not to sit for their exams and continuous assessment tests. With all the happenings, many are left to believe Madhe Wangara is indeed the root cause to the increase in drug abuse in the country. Interestingly, in one of Maina Kagen's show, he spoke on how most women have gradually become the lead in matters drug abuse and they will have no shame in abusing them. He further went ahead to state that most of them would choose weed over their marriages and relationships, claiming that weed can't heartbreak them. With the DCI taking a troll on the matter, Mother Wangara is to spend five more days in police custody, while we believe drug trafficking will be cracked down and put to an end. Anyway, that's all we have for you right here on the trends. Uh, be sure to follow up on this channel for these stories and much more.